So today I want to talk about Halloween and specifically what are my thoughts on children trick-or-treating. This really stemmed from a message I got yesterday. Some mean old lady starts posting uh, on Facebook that um, anyone who celebrates Halloween, referring to the kids, she said that they are celebrating Satan and demons. To her, I say that is a crock. I don't know if she's in some kind of a cult or how she draw that, drew that conclusion. I'll tell you what she did. She starts citing some Old Testament verses about sorcerers and, and, and demons and witches and ghosts and so forth. Uh, I won't get into all of them right now, but in the end, uh, she's trying to draw a comparison between what God was talking about in the Old Testament with these sorcerers, etc., and these little children who are knocking on doors. Uh, let me be very clear. <laughs> the heart of these children who are knocking on doors in their in their cute little costumes is very different than the heart of these sorcerers and the people from the Old Testament. These were people that hated God. These were people that rejected God. Now, I'm not saying that Halloween does not have some evil roots to it. Folks, it probably does. But it's not about what roots Halloween has. What it's about is what is the heart of the people who are doing it today? What is going on in the hearts of the mom and the three-year-old who are walking around in her little princess outfit? I don't know. Maybe she's got a, some kind of a Frankenstein uh, costume. It doesn't matter to me. What are the hearts of these people when they, they're walking around a neighborhood, knocking on doors, saying trick or treat, they walk away with some candy? Some people are treating like these kids. They put on a costume. They go out trick or treating. They run home. They grab out their Ouija board and start summonsing uh, demons and evil spirits. That's not what's happening. And this idea that children are somehow celebrating uh, Satan or demons because they put on a little cost, cute little costume and they go around asking for candy. That is the most nutty thing I've ever heard, to be very, very honest with you. You know, Paul talks about eating meat sacrificed to false gods. You see, some people have a weak conscience, and guess what? They couldn't eat it. Oh, no, that's been sacrificed to a false god. You can't eat that. Well, Paul's conscience is not weak. Paul realizes there are no other gods. I don't care if, if you had this big giant ceremony and sacrificed this meat to some false god. You sacrificed it to a tree. You might as well have because there is no other gods. And Paul's perfectly fine eating that meat. And listen, a lot of people have weak consciences out there. So their conscience is so weak that they want to demonize little three-year-olds and five-year-olds and six-year-olds uh, who are literally, they're just going out, knocking on doors. It's a fun two-hour event for them. It's perfectly innocent. And for someone to judge their heart, and to demonize them and suggest that they are somehow worshiping Satan, that's an evil act within itself. I gotta be very, very honest with you. So my take is this. If you wanna run around and celebrate Halloween, do it. You're perfectly free to do it. I don't, listen, if you're running around summonsing up demons and praying to Satan, that's a whole nother issue. Guess what? I'm not gonna encourage that but don't let anyone else be your judge as to a festival, as to a blue moon, as to a Sabbath, or even as to if you wanna go out and dress up in a little costume and take your kids out there and knock on doors and get some candy. You're free in Christ, right? Let no one else judge you. And don't let these evil, mean, nasty sick people who say they're Christians, but they're nasty people and they wanna tear down. You know what Jesus didn't do? He never ran around tearing down Christians. I know he never accused Christians of worshiping and celebrating Satan. That's just not what he ever did. All right, lift each other up, build up, edify, grow each other in Christ, and let's get over our big fat egos where we gotta tear Christians down over every single thing we can. God bless you. Hope you got something out of that. Bye, we'll talk soon.